Alrighty folks, welcome back to Project Chronicles. Today we are going to be working on making a couple new extension cords. As many of you have seen uh, in previous videos, I had some problems with some. So I had ordered a whole bunch of parts and uh, ends to get new extension cords made up. Today I'm going to be making a two 25 foot cords and a 50 foot cord. So I grab my dikes and here is the water, or not water, wire, wire that I'm using. And uh, it's actually proper 14-3 stranded copper wire cord, fully insulated. Getting off the tip just to make sure. Yep. And so what you do when you start making these is you go ahead and try and get everything apart. That way you can kind of tell how long, uh, how long you need to strip, how long with the outer sheathing you need to take off and in this particular case I'm taking off a bit too much I had to come back and shorten it later but uh, different brands of plugs will have different styles of connectors and this one has kind of the clamp style, clamp style. and so taking the screws out here and these later come back to bite me because this company again I, I use cheap ones that I probably shouldn't have and they did not make beefy enough screws so I had to come back later and replace those screws here I'm getting my wire strippers stripping off notice I'm only stripping off a very little bit that's all you really need if you've never done this before the black wire is the hot wire and that will go to the brass colored screw the white wire at least in the US is going to be your neutral and that goes on your silver colored screw. The green wire, sometimes it might just be a bare wire that goes to your ground and that's going to have a green tinge to it. Um, technically speaking I've seen a lot of DIY extension cords that just have any wire going to anything and so long as they all go to the same spot and they're parallel throughout the cord that's fine. But I really try and keep keep to standards. Um, and here you see I'm, I'm putting the, the screws that came with it back in and uh, they start to bite and I think it's going to work but this wire I'm using is a very beefy wire and apparently they just not, were not made for that style so as I was working stripped one out and I was not turning that hard but I uh, started looking at the screw and the screws were made very cheaply they're very small screws um, comparing them against a higher quality screw here from uh, I believe that's a Levitron that I happen to have laying around when I compare them you can really see that the the Levitron screw is beefier in the shaft the actual fins that bite into the plastic are, are sharper bigger um, they're about the size of a drywall screw and while I don't like doing it what I ended up doing was just cutting some drywall screws and using those to get good purchase and uh, actually getting the wire pinched down so it'd have a nice strong strong connection and I wouldn't end up pulling it out of the wall or out of the uh, connector but uh, here we're starting on the female end and uh, pulling out the useless screws I ended up pulling out all of those and just replacing them with modified drywall screws uh, not something I like doing, not something I'd recommend, but it works. Uh, here you can see how much less of the outer sheathing I ended up cutting away, and that's really what you you need to do. Just pay attention when you first start doing it, and you you just want to make sure that the outer sheathing goes into the socket or into the connector when you're all done. You don't want it, you know, the the wires poking out of the connector because when things start moving and flexing when you use the extension cord that's where it's going to break and that's where it's going to cause a short so again put the the green or the grounder wire on the green screw the hot wire on the brass screw and here the whole other casing of the the plug came off it'll be held in place by the screws but just a, another mark that yeah I did not get the highest quality I should have um, but getting them all wired up properly, slipping the, the plug cover back on, 
and getting everything screwed back together. Uh, I do apologize on the framing of this. I was trying to film quickly and uh, I'm still learning on how to work around a camera. But uh, if y'all have any suggestions on that, please do leave them in the comments because I am definitely open to suggestions. But putting the compression lock on, again with my highly technical <laughs> drywall screws. And that's pretty much it. As I said, I did a 50 foot, a 25 foot, and another 25 foot today. Got them all done. And uh, you'll definitely see them in the upcoming projects. I appreciate you watching. And I'll see you next time.